I would like to express my heartfelt thanks to the judges of the Lee Bennett Hopkins Award for honoring my book. I'm very grateful. My publisher has asked me to read her favorite poem from The Wishing Bone. It's called The Trial. Gentlemen of the jury, cried the prosecuting pig, as stepping from behind his desk, he danced a little jig. Sweat dripped beneath his woolen robes and trickled through his wig. The culprit's ears, his eeriness, his camouflage, his crime, all these I shall not talk about. I haven't got the time. The main point to remember is that he's a piece of slime. Don't bother with the evidence, just scrutinize his face. His eyes are pools of guilt, his nose a tunnel of disgrace. Weird thoughts stand up inside his brain, like flowers in a vase. The verdict must be very harsh with scoundrels of his ilk, for justice is as strong as steel, as elegant as silk. But I assure you, mercy is a donut dipped in milk. The jury members, waking up, politely clapped their paws, though some seemed not to understand the gist of their applause. They totally lost track of who had disobeyed what laws. Which documents had vanished from beneath the iron box? What money had the kangaroo embezzled from the fox? And who had bent the hour hands on 37 clocks? In front, as the presiding judge, there sat an ancient owl. Around his shoulders hung a pink and white designer towel. Defense attorney, hurry up, he muttered with a scowl. There's been a slight emergency, your honor, said the bear. This morning I left all my notes stacked neatly on this chair, but after I returned from lunch, not one of them was there. I know my client's innocent, but can't remember why. You'll have to take my word for it. He wouldn't hurt a fly. If only I could find my notes, the proof would make you cry. However, if you let him off, I'll have you all to tea. I'll serve you sweets that go beyond your sweetest fantasy, deliciouser than you could dream, and absolutely free. I'll serve you muffins, marzipan, and milkshakes for a start. Then cookies, cream puffs, macaroons, ten kinds of cherry tart, a 27-layer chocolate whipped cream covered heart. And last, vanilla ice cream topped with mocha almond fudge. You'll be so stuffed that it will take two hours till you can budge. Not guilty, cried the jurymen. Not guilty, cried the judge. At first, the pig was furious, responding with a glare. But after his fifth apple pie and 21st declare, he came to the conclusion that the verdict was quite fair. Thank you.